hold on. Let's start the slideshow. Here we go. All right, everybody. P2 spelling words, August 2 to August 6. All right. I'll see if anybody else has stood it. Uh, yep. Somebody else is coming in. So let me get that. All right. Remember, these have double middle letters. So here's our first one. What is that? Who can tell me? What is that? Do you know the word of this? Here's a real picture of it. Okay. That's another picture of it. Sometimes we use them to get up in trees. Maybe you have a tree fort. I used to have one. Sometimes they use them to climb a hill. If you can't walk up it, this is to help you. All right. Here we go. Sometimes we use it. This is a jungle gym. So this might be at a school or someone that might have it at home. Right here is this thing that we can climb up. There's another one here, actually. I didn't see everything. It's that creature works. Can you see it or no? No. Can you guys see this PowerPoint or no? No. No. I, but I see the first page. So can you see the pictures I have now? I don't see the picture. You don't. All right, let me try this then. Oh, you can't see this? No. No. Nobody. Okay, so let me escape. How about that? Can you see that? Yeah, I see it. Okay, so let me try Did this. You click the, the next I one. I think what I have to do, let me try this again. Okay, let me try and sign on again. All right, so I'm going to stop. I thought I could show that. Let me get this started first. And maybe that's how it works. So I will start a slideshow. And let's see if you can see this one, okay? Tell me if you see a big white blank space. What do you see? White space? I see a ladder. You see, you see a ladder? Okay, you know what? Let me see if I can see what yours. Oh, okay, okay. So you are in a space. Oh, I get this one in. Okay, okay, okay. So let me show you these pictures then. We can't do it through a slideshow when I do it this way. All right, so I will just show you the picture set. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. All right, so here we have a ladder. All right, we have all different types of ladders. Okay. Ladders have the double D, 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 and it's ladder. Ladder. And the word is ladder. All right, so this is a ladder you might have at home. These are different heights of ladders. Sometimes you need a short one or a big one. This, of course, is a ladder. It's important on a fire truck. Here for a tree fort. This is to climb a hill. All right, maybe the hill's too steep. So they put up a ladder to help you. And this is or it's a train ladder. Yeah, well, this one's kind of a ladder that sometimes runs up hills. Maybe this hill is very steep and people fall. So they'll put a ladder up here that makes it easier to walk up the path. It's more like, like steps, really. And here's a ladder you might play at. More home. like step, but you need hands. Yeah, more than likely, but it looks like it's this ground looks very, might be hard to put in steps. So they put in a ladder that are like steps, okay? So I can't show a slideshow, so we're gonna have to show each picture. And this might be in a jungle gym you have at school. I don't know if your school has a ladder, I can't remember. Huh. Okay, so let's look at the next page. So I'm gonna have to show you all at once, all right? Kind of like- have a, a ladder too. Yeah, does the school have a ladder? Yes. Okay, good, good. I thought it would. Most do have something. All right, here's our next page. And what's our word here? Hammer. Yes, yeah, so we have a double M. M. Hammer. It's a double M, 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 and a ham, mer. So when you're spelling, listen to what you're saying. Hammer, hammer. And this spelling test. Just remember, I know everybody can see Thor. 
This spelling test all has double letters in the middle. So it, would, it would not be H-A-M-E-R. They all have double letters, okay? So this is a hammer in the book. That's what a hammer looks like. This is called a sledgehammer. It's really big and heavy. And you use that for knocking down walls and things when you're taking apart. A house. This is a hammer that a judge would use in a court. Yeah, and then, of course, Thor's mighty hammer. Tisha, he's yeah. a big hammer. Yeah, yeah, he just does a lot of neat things if you've seen the Avenger movies. All right, so he's got a hammer, probably the most famous hammers, Thor. This one's for a judge in a courthouse, also called a gavel. All right, so these are different kinds of America, They what? This America. No, that's here too. I think your judges here use this. In, in, oops, in America... And Canada. In Thai, don't do that. Oh, maybe they don't in your courtrooms. I've never been in a Thai courtroom, so I don't know. So the judge would take their hammer. Don't have one. Let's use my axe. And they would go, order in the court. Order, and everybody stops. So that's very important for a judge. I don't know if Thailand has them. I'll have to check. All right, this is a part. The next one is it's a part of your clothes. And these are? Zippers. So a double P. Zip. Zip her. Mm. Zipper. Remember. What is that? Shirt. They always have double letters. So that's a zipper. No B. That's what a zipper what looks like. Yeah. Why did the boy do that? Yeah, let me. So that was a funny, silly little one I found. So here somebody made a coat out of a big zipper. I don't think I'd ever wear it, but that's pretty silly. And here we have zippers on clothes, a lot of our clothes. And this is a ride called a zipper. All right, amusement parks, we have a I know, ride. but I didn't say it's like a... Yeah, I went on that and sorry to say I, I didn't do good on the zipper. Up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. I actually got sick on that. When I, yes, when I see it, I, I'm going to go. I want to go home quick. Yeah, I can't go on those. I'll get sick. So these are examples of zippers. This one's silly, isn't it? Next one is uh, something I think, that... I think that that zip is going to eat his head. Yeah, it looks like it's going to eat him. So this it's is a when letter. He, when he zips okay. up, he don't Please. see his head. <laughs> I know, it's a silly picture, isn't it? I always try to find something fun. This is a letter. We Please. use, we use email you. mostly now, but when I was a kid, there was no email and everything was sent in a letter. So it goes into a post office, bo into a box, and it goes to a big building where they send it to somebody. Could be anywhere in the world. I can send this letter to Canada, United Please. States, Mongolia, when, when China. I, when when I P one, I, 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 I know this one. Yeah. The letter, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Most of us know the word letter with the letters of the alphabet, okay? And you learn that in probably... Wait, 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 wait. wait. The purple is B. So letter, double T. T, T. Let, ter, and letter. Okay, letter. Good. All right, so that's another word, a letter. Next word is, I'll show a video on this a little later, but right when now, I say the word. B, when, wow. This is a double N in the middle, run, ner, a run. Running. So this is. Teacher, from the book. I, I love that movie. I love All right. the ball. Yeah, movie. I know. I'll tell you, it's called Bolt. So here we have a runner. Here is somebody running. It's called Bolt because it runs so fast. Well, I'll tell you in just a moment why. These are boys, children in a school, probably have a race and they're runners. This is, these are runners. And this man here, his name is Bolt, Usain Bolt. He is now the fastest man in the world. Okay. This is him here. And he it's won three. And his, they love, 
Well, they loved him so much that Walt Disney made a movie called Bolt, and it is after him. Okay? So he became very, very famous, and he's very fast. He's the fastest human being on the whole planet. That is pretty amazing. All right, so let's look at it. Now, this is a food. Yeah. I didn't run. Well, you got to be pretty okay. fast to be Usain Bolt. He's the fastest. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we've got a double T. But -ter. I like butter. I this is butter. butter. Okay. Sometimes you put it on I bread. Make popcorn. Well, most people put butter popcorn. on bread. Popcorn. But popcorn, when I do it, I put butter in the corn, not pop it first. You put I butter put... before you before you pop butter. it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, do you fluke? I didn't know that. Because, because, because. I never tried that. Then, and you put the butter, it will don't, it will don't have a, the taste of the butter. Okay. Well, I love the butter. So, this have, is, this is called, need, yep. It needs to hot first, it will have taste. All right, and this butter is whipped. It's a special butter. But I like butter on my popcorn. So that I is. I love it. Butter. I love where, butter. Where do we get butter? What Me animal too. gives us butter? Do you cow. know? Yeah, cow. Comes from milk. Great. All right. When, so the next one. When mommy it's say whip, I say when you, mommy say whip, whip butter, I want I say I want to eat whipped cream. <laughs> whipped cream butter. Whipped cream, that comes from a cow too. This is a, called a pepper. Okay, double P in the middle. Pe I eat pepper before, and I my hand is so red. I love peppers, and this is called a pepper. This is a pepper I from love, a book. I love pepper. pepper. I love cucumber. Okay, I so this is a pepper. pepper. I don't have cucumber. All right, so that's a pepper from our book. I love like chili. I love teacher. I love. Mm. Pepper. Do you like peppers? I, I love like them too. Chili. I, love I always had them in a salad. I love chili. So, this is what peppers really look I like. Love pep this I is a chili pepper. Very I hot. Like, I like eating. Yeah. I like so it too. This one's hot. These are sweet I peppers. Like and this I is like pepper. We put I don't like our pepper. Meat. You don't like pepper? It can be hot. I like it. I like, like it. it. I like it. You are you. Most people put salt and pepper on something. All right. So it can be a vegetable or something you put on something. All right. This one's kind of boring. These are slippers. Wow. Slippers. When I when I put on the beach slippers. When I walk, I slip like his name. That's my slipper. Uh, 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 uh. That's a slipper I wear, okay? So I like it keeps my feet nice and warm. So these are different types of slippers. This is from our book. And these, this I didn't know. Crocs make slippers. I didn't know that. Yeah. Honey slippers and cookie yeah. monsters. Double P. Slip. Per. Slipper. Okay? And, oh, this one's really big, huge word. All right? So we've got a grasshopper, all right? A grasshopper is this. It's an insect. Here's another one. Okay, I know people in Thailand eat grasshoppers, all right? I see grasshopper. Yes. When I see it, I run in the home and, and I go out and I run all of my, all, all around my, my garden. Well, some people eat them. We don't eat them in Canada, but here I know people eat them. I don't eat them. It's so disgusting. Well, if you don't like it, don't eat it. So here's some grass. I see and I, I see and I run and run and run and run and I kick and I kick him and I go. Well, it's called it's a grasshopper. Can, grasshopper can eat it too. Well, it's a simple name. It lives on the grass and it hops, so grasshopper. But this is actually what a hopper really is. You put a whole bunch of things in here 
It comes down here through a little spout and you can take, let's say, a big, huge bag of rice, stick it all in your hopper and make little bags of rice. That's what a hopper does. Double P. Yep. Double P. I eat a grasshopper too. Well, some people eat them. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Hopper. Now, this in your spelling words. Really, you can break these up, right? Grass hopper. It's a huge word. And the other one is a review word from last time. And again, is a kettle. All right. We've seen this before. And kettles are for boiling water. So if you want tea or coffee, you boil water or, or noodles or something, that's what we use. All right. So those are our spelling words for this week. We have a kettle, a grasshopper. Oh, that's a monster. Slipper, pepper, butter, runner, letter, zipper, hammer, and ladder. All right. So, ready? What's this word? Water. Awesome. What's this word? Hammer. 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 Zipper. Zipper. Letter. Letter. Good. Runner. 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 Butter. 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 Grasshopper, and grasshopper, and 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 that is a there we go. All right, let's look at our book. Okay. Look at page fifty-three, and you'll see some of the words already. Page fifty-three. And we already see some of the words. There we go. So you do them first. And then tell me which one is which. All right. We just did the words. You write in the words yourself. The second one is letter. The second one is letter. Write it in yourself. Write it in and then I'll ask you for help, okay? So everybody do their own writing. Write in the words first in your book. All right? And then we'll do them all together. Right. You can write it in your book now, Babu. Okay. <laughs> all right. Can you write it in now, Kalpoon? Can you write it in yourself right now? You try. All right, and then we'll do it all together. All right, so I'll give you a minute or two to write it in. I will give you a few minutes. All right. All right, so let me, let me get to this and you guys can give me some help. All right. Our first picture. What is that? Hammer. Hammer. Right. Which hammer. one's hammer? hammer? That's pretty easy. It begins with an H and has a double M. Hammer. hammer. Ladder. And then over here we've got a ladder. Double D in the middle. Ladder. Down here is a zipper. Zipper. People call it a zip. Letter. And a letter. So when you say the word, hammer, ladder, zipper, and letter. All right. So there are 
sum of Teacher, I love you and super fast. Did everybody get it? Nice. <laughs> All right, you don't have to do it that fast. Everybody get that? All right, let's go to the next page. If you're not finished, you can figure this one out. So you color in whatever they should be colored. All right, so read it and you find out what the color is. I'll let you do this by yourself, okay? Ah, crap. And I win. All right, so use your colors. And I don't have this color. Yeah. So I'll give you a minute or two to color them in, and then you'll tell me what color, what it is and what color I need to do it. Color it. All right, use some of your colors. All right, are you coloring in, Kalpoon? You can color in. Yes, I can. Oh, you're fast. All right, so you're still coloring. You can help me. What is this? Letter. A letter. And what color is the letter? Blue. There you go. So let me get some blue out here. There we go. And I will, you know, blue. Hold on, let me try this. I think I can do this. There we go. I'll just circle it in the color. There we go. All right. So the letter is blue. What do I have here? Hammer. Hammer. F S brown. And the hammer is brown. I don't have brown, so I'll just write brown right here. Oh, no. Good. And here I have a... Yellow. Yeah. Yeah. What, what color yellow. is the Yellow. 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 Some yellow. All right, so I will circle it, circle it in yellow. There we go. And the last thing is a what? Zipper. It is a zipper. What color is the zipper? Green. Green. Oh. Zipper is green. 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 Yeah. Uh, now wait, you can't do it. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yep. A hammer. You is a hammer. Not what? hammer. Did I do it the wrong color? Yeah. Uh -oh. Hammer, hammer. Oh, I don't hammer. have the color brown. I don't have the color Peter. brown, so I just wrote brown up here. This. Yeah, the hammer. hammer is brown. This one, this is hammer. Did I get it right? Oh, I put hammer. Hammer, not hammer. Oh my gosh. That's a hammer. What's this a hammer? This is a hammer. Thank you. I made two hands. Hammer, not hammer. Hand. What are you doing? You're doing it. All right. So those are some new words. Letter, hammer, zipper, and ladder. Okay. Now we go on to more new words. Right. So you write the word underneath. And then you'll help me. So I'm going to let you write for a minute or two. Okay. All right. You do this by yourself. If you're finished, good.
Hmm. You find each picture matches the word, and then I'll ask for your help. We've got one very, very, very big letter. One big word, sorry. Remember, all these are double letters, okay? Okay, everybody's still writing, so wait another little bit. You guys finish writing them down. I'm done. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Thanks, T. We'll let some other people finish if you're still working. Some people can write faster than others, and that's okay. How's everybody else doing? Pretty good? Have we got most of them? All right, let's go back to this and you guys can help me. All right, so what is this? Slipper. That's a double P in the middle. Slipper. Good. Slipper. All right, you wear those on your feet. What is this here? You can tell me what this butter. is. Butter. You're right. Double T. Butter. Butter. A butter. Butter. People love butter in Canada. Okay. So let me uh, get this. So we'll cross off butter and I'll cross off slipper. All right. Next one. What is this? Runner. 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 And the last word? Grasshopper. Yeah. Nice big My word. Grasshopper. Grass okay. It's a really good name because it hops and it lives in the grass. So it's called a grasshopper. I love is a hopper. I eat a hopper too. Do you eat them? Yeah. yeah. I don't eat them. In Canada, we don't eat insects. People come here to Thailand and go, oh my gosh, you're eating a grasshopper. In Canada, we don't. Some people do. They're very good for you, actually. I love that. Yeah, I know a lot of people do. <clears throat> All right, so everybody got those? All right, the next one is color them in. All right, so you look them up, you get the word and you find the color. Okay, so I'll let you do that for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. 
Sure, I'm Are you finished? Good. No, I have, I'll wait a few more minutes no. so that everybody can finish. I'm trying to think we have a good story. Yes, I do. I have a good story for, let's see where it is. Um, what's it called again? Sure. Yep. Pick, I know one pick on the pick party to win. You what? Say again. Oops. You do a party seat. I know what one. Uh... Okay, good, good. So you can help me, okay? Uh, I'm trying to get a. Um... All right, I'll give you another minute. This is a Shiloh. Shiloh. It's what? Let me Shiloh see. Shiloh is not pepper. Pepper is green. Well, <laughs> well, this one's a green pepper. You are right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You are right. I could have made it purple. <laughs> okay. Tisha, Which one? All right, let's go back to that. And here we go. All right, so this is a what? Slipper. Thank you. And what color is the slipper? Red. All right, let's get some red. And we'll do some red around the slipper. Here we go. Those peppers like... Christmas one. All right. I love those peppers like Christmas one. Yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? Put the slipper and the pepper together, you kind of got Christmas colors. All right, what do I have here? Hammer. Good. And what color is my hammer? Brown. Oh, I don't have brown, so let me type it up here. All right, and here we have what? Butter. Thank you. We got some butter. Yeah. And what color is the butter? I yeah. hope it's yellow. 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 Good. Is it yellow? Where's the butter? Yes, because butter is usually yellow. Okay, so here's some oh. butter. Good. All right, down here we have a, a zipper. Thank you. And what color is our zipper? Purple. Okay, well, I don't have purple, so I'll write purple here. Okay, and over here we have a... Ladder. It's a ladder. And what color is our ladder? Blue. A blue, that I've got. Let's get some blue. Oops. And the last one. Pepper. Pepper. There's lots of voices there. Thank you. Green. And it's green. Thank you. Green. Let's get some green. green. And this is actually a green pepper. That's one of the colors. Let's see if I can color in. Eh, it kind of blocks out the pepper, but there you go. <laughs> That's terrible. I think I'll circle it instead. This doesn't really color very well. There we go. So we've got a slipper that's red, a hammer that is brown, some butter, yellow, a zipper that is purple, a ladder that is blue, and a pepper that is green. Okay, so that's good. You guys know your colors. I'm going to turn this off for now. We'll probably go back and do one more page. But I want to show you a little video first. Okay. So let me stop that. Thank you. Good. So 
T-shirt. Yep. Page 57, you have a T-shirt too. Probably. So we might go to back to 57. I think we'll have time. So I want to show you a quick little video. I like to take one of those words and find some videos on it. And I think runner was the best one. So I'm going to show you because they did a really funny one. They did something really funny on, on uh, YouTube. All right. So this is Usain Bolt. He is the fastest man in the world. And this was his run that won him, that made him the fastest man in the world. It's not very long. Okay. He's about half as fast as a cheetah, which is still okay. very, very fast. All right. He's a very fast man. Okay. Uh, there we go. All right. Bye -bye. So we go. Oh, we did, we did this very, you guys were really good today. All right. Oh. Let's go back. All right, let's go back and do page 56. All right, we'll go back and go back to your book. Go back to your book. And we'll do one more page. We got lots of time. So you guys were super fast today. Just like Hussein Bolt. All right, so let's go back. And we'll do page 56. Why? Is that one's up? Uh-oh. Oh, we did this one. Okay. All right. So then what I will do is show you. I did that. Yeah, we did that. I don't want to go to the next one. All right. Okay. So that's good. We are go I'm going to show you a little video. And this is all on colors. Okay? Uh, hold on, I know. Let me get through this. Let me turn off the volume. Uh, okay, here we go. Hey, Duncan. Okay. So this is a funny, weird little video. I liked it, though. All right, let's turn this off because we shouldn't go on yet. That's for next week. All right, so I'm going to show you a video. And it's called The Day the Crayons Quit. So the crayons, I don't have crayons with me, were they quit. They didn't want to be crayons anymore, okay? Because their owner used them for the same thing. So this is a funny little book. Yeah. And it's called The Day the Crayons Quit. Uh, there we go. And it is a read aloud book. Here we go. All right, let's start this. Come on. There we go. Gethers. One day in class, Duncan. Went, went to take, take off his crayons and found, found a stack, stack of letters, letters with his name, name on them. Hey, Duncan. It's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, <laughs> strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizards hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair the Brown Crayon gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies, while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited 
about coloring wheat. Your beige friend, Beige Crayon. Duncan, Grey Crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are grey, but that's a lot of space to colour all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things? Such big animals. Baby penguins are grey, you know. So are tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, grey crayon. Dear Duncan, you colour with me, but why? Most of the time I'm the same colour as the page you're using me on. White. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to colour snow or feeling empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. I need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are covered in by other colours, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you used me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill the colours of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I'm writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful Colouring Things Green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, Yellow Crayon and Orange Crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons think they should be the colour of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the colour of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the colour of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to colour in the sun in your Happy Farm colouring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true colour of the sun, yellow crayon. Here, Duncan. I see. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the colour of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know that I am clearly the colour of the sun. Because on Thursday, you used me to colour the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo colouring book. Orange, you're glad I'm here? <laughs> your pal, I'm the real colour of the sun. Orange crayon. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favourite colour this past year, and the year before, and the year before that. I really have enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby, I can't even see over the railings in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon Duncan. Okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me. Once in the past. You think I am a girl's colour, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to colour in her pretty princess colouring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to colour in the occasional pink dinosaur or monster, or cowboy. Goodness knows they could use a splash of colour. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you... I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? 
I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Well, poor Duncan just have... wanted to colour. And of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him a good work sticker for colouring. And a gold star for creativity. Nope. Hey, watch me the noise. Graph. Hey, you open your microphone. Your microphone. Shut up. Thank you. Shut the, open player, it. the crayons aren't happy because they color the same things all the time. So, what is the red crayon? What do we use red crayons for? What do we color? Mm -hmm. Sure. What are some things that are red? We use red when we color. Hmm. When you color something, let's say I got some red coloring pencil. Here's a red pencil. And I'm going to color something red. What do I color red? The sky? Oh, okay. I would say. Do I color the sky red? Yeah? No, Baboon is right. What do I color that's red? Uh, I am a red Santa and fire trucks. There's that one, fire truck. And cars. I was like, there was time to stay. Fire truck is good. What else do we color red? What's something we eat that's red? Apple. Yeah, what else? It's red. And they sound red. Um, it's a berry. Cool. What I berry is red? Our first day. Oh, this is like it's your super new purple color. Strawberry? Is that red? Yeah, it's like super color. It is, isn't it? So that's what they're complaining about. How about purple? What wasn't purple happy with? That was a weird one. They said a dragon. Gray. Gray. What do we use gray for? When we use our gray coloring, what do we color? Yeah, put the stroke here. What's an animal that's gray? I didn't know what's blue. I didn't know what's blue. What animal is gray? It's huge. this. What? Even an animal that is gray. It's got a long nose. I don't like this color. I want you to represent your best color. There's lots of them in Thailand. What animal is gray? Elephant. Yes, elephants are gray. Oh, uh, what, they say hippos are gray too. White. What do we color white? Hmm. I'm going to be a friend. Yeah, me too. Snow. Okay, why was yellow and orange fighting? What do they both want to be? I want to this one. Color of the sun. Yes, sometimes sun, we color them yellow. How about green? What are green? Oh, rainbow colors. Rainbows, what do we use green for? Lots of things are green. <laughs> what do we color green? That was your kill. Hmm. Oh, no. Trees, maybe? Grass, maybe? We use green a lot. And how are we doing? It's almost time. So uh, we'll finish that another time. So right now, it's almost time to say goodbye. Oh, yes, I know. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.